yeah, my children don't have fear. Yeah, in the beginning when the um, rockets were exploding, uh, well, I would just want to curl up and cry in the corner, whereas Elon would come out and say, now we find out what went wrong and we will do the next one right. Hi everyone, this is Mae Musk. I'm so excited to interview this woman. Now, for those of people who may not know Mae Musk, I bet you, you have heard of her children. Tosca Musk, the filmmaker, Kimball Musk, the restaurateur, and Elon Musk, who is today probably the most famous entrepreneur in the world. May is 72 years old. She is the world's oldest supermodel. She was a born adventurer. Her book is so absorbing. I started reading it today. I'm already at chapter 10 and I'm in the middle of a work day. And I am so delighted to have you join us. You were born to a couple that were adventurers and they hopped on a boat and sailed from Canada to South Africa. And that adventuring never stopped. You grew up exploring the deserts of South Africa, looking for lost cities. Tell us about that sense of adventure growing up and what it infused in you. Well, we were kids and all, all our friends would go to the beaches. We had to go to the Kalahari Desert. And my dad had said when we went into the Kalahari Desert, he wanted to show we can rough it. Do you think there was something about that adventuring that your parents had that you later picked up and then infused into your children? All my children have a, have a survival skill that way. As I'm reading A Woman Makes a Plan, this very intriguing story about May, about how when she got her first paycheck, the first thing you bought was a carpet because you had no chairs in your apartment. So you just got a carpet so your kids could be comfortable. And then the second thing you bought was a computer for Elon and Kimball to sit in the carpet and play with that computer. The bareness of the upbringing is, is astonishing to me. And it reminds me of an interview I heard your son Elon give to Neil deGrasse Tyson. Elon said something about how he wanted to see if he could live on a dollar a day. And he found that living in an American dormitory, he could live in a dollar a day. He'd just go buy ramen noodles and he could survive. And he said that after he realized he could literally survive and not die on a dollar a day, it gave him the courage to do all of the other epic things he did in his life. You know, the thing is when you, when you are trying to survive, then you don't, um, you don't go to the hairdresser. You have to cut your own hair. And I cut my children's hair. You can do without luxuries. And uh, funny enough, when my brothers and my twin sister read my book, they said, we didn't know you were struggling. You never complained. You never asked for money. I said, well, what would I ask for money for? To go to the movies or go out for dinner? That's, those are luxuries. We didn't have a problem with it. I, my children never complained. And they even said they, it was quite fun. <laughs> you know, oh. and you could get uh, secondhand uh, school uniforms and, you know, you, 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 you figure out things. We have a leading question from Irina Shehosov. Hi, my, my question is, what is the most important trait you want to instill in a child? I like them to be considerate of others. They think just be kind to others. Kindness, right? Kindness. Your, your children aren't just building businesses. Your children are building businesses that are actually, in a way, healing the world, right? Yes, I mean, they're doing, they're doing what I, I consider they're doing good things. Like, like Elon wants to move the world um, beyond a carbon economy. He wants to back up the human species by colonizing Mars. Kimball is doing so much good work in terms of organic farming and farm to table. How do you install kindness, kindness and care in a child? I was in a nurturing profession where I helped people to eat well, but uh, they saw that people would come and see me. And then when they eat better, they're happier and they're healthier and you could see that you're caring about other people. And then my parents were Canadians. They cared about everybody too. My dad was a chiropractor. He kept people in better health. My kids are the same. They, they, care, they find a goal that will help mankind or help like Tosca with her movies, her Passion Flix app, where she has romance movies where the men and women get the same pay and the uh, female directors and they romance stories with happy endings so that the women here are not abused, tortured, you know, violated. They are intelligent, successful, and, uh, but you know, drama. There's drama because it's a love story. <laughs> so, uh, Dad, do you have a question for May Musk? No, I think uh, Elon Musk is God sent through you. Thank you. 
Yes. Well, it certainly was a hard birth. <laughs> <laughs> As any mother will contest to birth. He had a huge head. <laughs> <laughs> really, if you, you see how big his head is. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for ensuring that you raised children who were compassionate and wanted to heal the world and not evil geniuses. Because imagine if Elon was an evil genius. We'd be freaking screwed. I would never allow that. <laughs> no evil. Do no evil. 